made a declaration. And um, there's no statement we're prepared to make at this time. Uh, we have some follow-up meetings in Dangriga over the next day or two. And when we're finished with that, we'll certainly... Uh, um, brief the press on, on those meetings and discussions. Will it be contested? So, would you be able to get a quick comment from you? I'm not the spokesman for the party today. Nobody is, apparently. No? I, I, I think we, we, we had a frank and um, brief discussion um, today about the, about the by-elections and the, the national executive decided that we're going to have an assessment and we're going to go down in Dangriga and have an assessment I'm um, discussing with the executive, with the candidates, and other people, other supporters of the party, um, as to how to move forward for the, um, for the, for the election um, next month. So could you clarify for us, is there actually a discussion on whether the PUP will or will not participate in the by-election? Well, as, as we said, no, as, as, um, the discussion was is that there's going to be an assessment. We have to go down on the, on the ground and to find out exactly what is the best way forward for the party. Is that something unprecedented? You've been a, a politician for a long time. Well, that a party would not want to participate or would maybe choose not to participate in a by-election? Well, we're not saying that the party does not want to participate. I think what, is, what we're saying is that it is best to go down and to hear and to listen to, to our supporters there in Dangriga before we, with the, before we make any decision.